Hello and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3. So then today I'm heading out to go and do a bucket list in a little orange car. At the moment I'm driving the new Lamborghini Anus, which is of course Lamborghini's four wheel drive as we make our way to the destination. So then into the aerial nomad and it was quite simple really get to the destination before the time runs out. How hard could it be? But then I quite quickly realised that I may have gone off course a little bit. And a little bit more. Who knew that the aerial nomad made quite a good jet ski? And that's a tree. So then as I approach this beautiful waterfall, I managed to finish the event with almost a minute spare. So then back in the anus, where I'd been told to go to another location on the map. It turned out it was a cross country circuit. And it seemed I had the right car for the job. Although it did try to kill me and put me into that house as I'm overtaken by an old school Land Rover. I really need more speed to catch the others. I wonder how many times them people have had to rebuild that fence. So then as I closed in on first place, could I pass him? When I caught up to first place, it turned out it was Evil Genius, who you may remember from the beginning of the channel. As he's run too wide there, Sunshine. So all I had to do then was survive until the finish line. Look at these skills! I'd have dinged him on the last corner! But that was another win in the bag. So then we got to try out the new Audi R8. Unfortunately it was pitch black as I head to my next location which was going to be another bucket list challenge. And as this one involves skills I thought it may be best to wait until morning. So then morning came and this is what was waiting for me, the Lancia Stratos. And the task was to get 40,000 skill points. So here we go then. At first it seemed to be going quite well. As the realisation hit that it's a rear wheel drive car. Let's take this up to the next level. So then as I built up my points, it was quite clear I was going to need to do something special to get them going. And that's not quite what I had in mind. So then when we removed the car from the sign, I got back on it and I was determined to smash this skill score. So then with 24 seconds remaining, definitely going to be a close one. All I needed to do now was not crash and try and nail some more points. Because I may have nearly rolled it over there. This is going to be so close. Am I going to do it? Yes I have. Absolutely smashed it by 80 points. So then after a hard day's work I was given a chance to win the Ford Horizon edition, but I didn't. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope people are enjoying this series, and I'll catch you in the next one.